I'm just mad right now. Why? That rumor about me supposedly getting my horn replaced with a P3 is going around. It's unacceptable and needs to stop. Yeah, I've heard you with your first real horn many times. Well, Benjamin, you don't know what it's like to be treated like this. It's even worse than the false rumors of Kira Dream and Alan getting repainted, Zack and Mater getting scrapped, Darren, Horace, Warrior, and Waluigi getting sold to Progress Rail, Margaret re being rebuilt, and all that. True. At least you're not treated different because of your looks. You're right. If that were the case, then Arthur, Jaden, and others in my class would be rumored just like me. Rumors can be hurtful sometimes, and I'm sorry to say there was one engine treated differently for his design. It all started one day in December of 1955. Alfred, Elaine, and Joey were alone in the yard talking to each other. Did you guys hear what happened yesterday? What happened? In Alabama, some lady named Rosa Parks refused to give up her seat on the bus. Whoa, really? Are you serious, Alfred? The serious as Harry Truman when he said he was going to bomb Japan. Then she got arrested for it. Wow, just for you to everyone boycott the bus. Yeah, it's a shame how colored people are treated differently in society. Imagine if we were looked down on when compared to those diesel locomotives that will eventually take our places. I know, right? We can help the fact that we are stupid and nobody can help what they look like or how they will rebuild. Exactly. Just then, the three engines saw an unusual looking locomotive arriving in the yard. Huh, I don't recall seeing him around before. I don't think I have either. That evening, they figured out more. Due to the increase of rail traffic around here, it's been decided that we need an extra locomotive to help us out. This is Matthew. He's a J1 steamer locomotive. He usually works around the Harrisburg area, but he will be assigned here from the rest of the week. That's strange. I thought that he would get a cheap unpowered diesel that is made in a factory. Well, in Soviet Russia, steam replaced diesel. Oh, come on, that was funny, right? Not after the war, Alfred. Anyways, Matthew hasn't been here since 1952, so I expect you all to be friendly around him. Do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. When I hear that name, I still think of our S NSSD 78's friend. We all know it's a common name. Hello, I'm Matthew. But the engine started whispering to each other. Yeah, I think he looks great. Paul, that's no original Pennsylvania Railroad assign. Of course it's not Pennsylvania Road. He looks just like the CNO T1. Knock off, where are you the night of February 31st? Don't worry, Matthew. It's just that it's a stopgap design. One or two are other from other railroads designs. It's like us and there's awfully cheap diesels. Yeah, they are not easy to wait to for it designs. It's like how he's a casino design just pecked up. Don't I know you from somewhere? I think it might have met you back in 1947. Just two years after World War Two. Maybe we can go to Judy and tell him, Are you f***ing high? Joe, that was done right there. Maybe I've never due to it because several times back in July. Ah, uh, yeah, now I remember. May the 1st, 1952. Yeah, I think your wheels balanced on the intestine in the shops. Now, if you excuse me, I have a radio show to listen to. Joe and his good propaganda. Come on, it's an amazing show about this girl from West Germany who moved to a fictional town in Virginia 
who fights the USSR and the East German government. Nope, I'd rather I listen to that Orson Welles, War of the Worlds, the Nat Crummy Kids show. I might be against the Reds, but I hate that. Grandpap came to see Matthew first thing in the morning. How's that fire burning, Matthew? It's heating up real good. I'm making plenty of steam. Fabulous. Will you please take a cold drag? I've already given your crew the orders. Of course, sir. But after Matthew was out of sight, Nick and Joey began talking about him again. Is water restrictions really an excuse not to make an original design? Those J1s are other undercover CNO locomotives. They don't have the normal valve at number four, they're even the same fireboxes. Yeah, they are nothing but cheap knockoffs. Plus, the war is over! small town out in the country I never had much and I was often hungry my dad he died young and I had to be strong but I was a child I didn't get along I tried to get up but I always fell down this twisted society has dragged me around You made me the man that I am today And I never wanted to live my life this way That never burned out And the teachers in school They had no doubt Saying that I'm a loser And I wouldn't get far And so I dropped out of school Just to play my guitar I tried to get up But I always fell down this twisted society has dragged me around You made me the man that I am today And I never wanted to live my life this way My life this way.
you here before. What brings you this way, old chap? I'm just here to deliver this train. Oh, okay. You look like a Chesapeake and Ohio locomotive. Did they send to the Pennsylvania Railroad? No, I've worked for PRR all my life. I'm built just like a CNO T1. That's strange. Also, I know the Nickel Plate Road is not a route to the Pennsylvania Railroad, besides New York Central. But I'm actually nice to the Pennsylvanians. Well, see ya. For the next two days, Matthew continued to work hard, which made the other engines less tired. But they were still critical. I still don't get why he's here. He must be a CEDO engine trying to steal PRR secrets. A spy, you might call it. Never mind. I know you were designed after that CNO type. It's just like the poke fun about it. I can tell. They must be the lucky ones, as they have their own designs. Later, as Nick was getting ready to leave, he saw a different J-1 pass by. Another one? Oh great, Matthew must be calling his allies now. If he wants to go back to World War II, he most certainly can. Nick, you realize we're now fighting the Cold War? Well, that must be another thing. Have you really not seen a J-1 before? Because I run them sometimes. Hey look, J1! J1's everywhere! Oh no. Seriously, yo. Joke about his foreign design is too far. You might be jealous that he might have more dry wheels than you. <laughs> he may be bigger than me, but this is my territory. I ought to go to the CNO coal fields and get in the piece of my smoke box. Chill out, Nick. You take this entry too seriously. You bet I do. That spy will never turn the Pennsylvania Railroad into the Chesapeake Highland Pennsylvania Railroad. If I have... Hands. I face all myself right now. Me too. Anyways, I better get your train ready. Oh, all right. After Nick's crew got their orders and compared watches with Grandpa, they coupled him to his train and later departed. Better watch it, Nick. The rails are still icy. Yeah, yeah, I know. had to stop at Conway to collect more cars. What's up with this? It's a pre-holiday rush, remember? We've got more to haul. I don't know if I've ever been this busy since World War II. Um, I think we go through this every year. Then he departed Pittsburgh with his long and heavy merchandise train.
He went well until he got to Johnstown. You sure you don't need assistance? I can do this alone. James Bond wanted me. But he couldn't. The mountain train was tough and Nick's train was heavy. He began slipping and sliding on the icy rails. Go on, fireman, show it faster! It's not good enough! To... <laughs> Stupid fireman. At least I'm trying. Then Matthew arrived. Ah, oh, great, it's that call me bathroom in here. Stuck? You said you could do this on your own, didn't you? It's not my fault! The rails are frozen popsicles now. Then we need to pull you out. I better be quick so that we can free the triple track main for other trains. They were right about him being powerful. <laughs> powerful Mark Tender. Why don't you ask the locomotive builders? I got 95,100 pounds of force to track his effort. How many of you? 69,700. We'll be at the bottom of the hill in no time. I can take it from here. And when Nick returned to Highland Valley that evening, Grandpa was waiting. Nick, I need to speak with you, please. Yes, sir. What's going on? Joey told me that you have not been helpful when Matthews was here. 
Joey, you traitor! I heard you say stuff about him too! He's proven himself a useful engine despite of those uncalled for remarks he made. He's done us no harm, just some help. You wanna know why I don't have a PRR design? Um, why? The Pennsylvania Railroad needed bigger engines to carry more during World War II. But wartime restrictions killed the option of a new design. So what they did is they tested a Norfolk and Western Class A and a Chesapeake and Ohio T1. The T1 won out, so they produced 125 engines, myself included, modeled after the T1. Oh, that's interesting, I have to say. Yeah, it really is. Isn't that like they call you a war baby? You got it, Alfred. So how do you feel about him now, Nick? So I guess he's alright. But next time, let's try not to get an engine straight from the coal fields. Well that story was pretty good. It reminded me of that one time on Sodor when Duck the Great Western Engine arrived to help Percy with the work, but then the bigger engines took advantage of him. Oh yeah, I remember. Hey guys, what did I miss? A story. Okay now. I take a manifest to Philly. See you guys later. And I have to take a local. Huh? 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 Huh?